Take sonar anywhere you fish with StrikerCast and StrikerCast GPS. In this video, we'll show you how to start using your portable sonar device with your compatible smartphone. First, make sure to charge your StrikerCast fully. Just plug the included charging cable into the port at the back of the device. Then plug the other end into any USB port. You can power on the device one of two ways. Connect to the USB cable, and when the device is blinking red or the LED is off, meaning fully charged, your device is ready to connect. Alternatively, the device automatically turns on when the pins on the device are in the water. Now download the StrikerCast app for Apple or Android to your compatible smartphone. Once downloaded, either sign in or make an account. After doing so, you'll be prompted to pair your StrikerCast or StrikerCast GPS device. After it's paired, attach your device to a 20-pound test weight or higher fishing line and cast out and reel in repeatedly to get a picture of what's beneath the water's surface. Now let's take a look at what was captured. The top red here is the water's surface. The red scattered in the blue shows fish, and the red at the bottom of the phone shows the bottom of the lake. Anything that comes up out of that is bottom structure, such as brush. If you'd like to see the fish represented differently within the sonar, you can activate the fish icons. Go to Menu, then More Settings, and then choose the Display option you want. Overlays fish icon on top of sonar data. Overlays fish icon on top of sonar data with depth. Replaces sonar data with fish icon. Replaces sonar data with fish icon with depth. Here in the settings, you can also change sonar view from traditional to flasher, which is the mode you'd use for vertical fishing, jigging, or ice fishing. Switch between lower frequency for deeper water and higher frequency for shallower water. Adjust scroll speed, which allows the data to move across the screen faster and can stretch targets. It's best used in deeper water. Add a scope to include a data bar to the side of your sonar. This pulls in the most current data and makes it easy to follow. You'd want to use flasher sonar for vertical fishing, jigging, or ice fishing. Sonar is represented in a circle. Starting at the zero at the top, that's the water's surface. The red indicators as you're heading clockwise around show fish, and as you make your way around, the higher numbers show depth and eventually the bottom surface. You can also set depth range to manual or automatic directly from the sonar screen. If sonar isn't finding the bottom, or it's not rescaling when the depth changes dramatically, you'll want to switch to manual to adjust these settings yourself. Use the menu in the top right corner to do so. Most people choose to run auto. Another perk of the Striker Cast app is Quick Draw Contours. It allows you to create your own HD fishing maps if you have Striker Cast GPS, or download already created maps from the community if you're using either version. This will allow you to keep track of your best fishing spots. To get here, go to Chart at the bottom of the app. If you're using StrikerCast GPS, turn on Quick Draw Recording from the Chart page menu. Cast out, and as you reel in the device, it will draw a map with detailed one-foot contours that you can choose to upload to the community, or keep them for yourself. You can then access these anytime you fish. There's a lot you can see with the StrikerCast and StrikerCast GPS sonar devices, and with their portability, it makes it easy to take them everywhere you fish. Thanks for watching. To learn more about castable sonar, go to Garmin.com.